and I'm looking in the sky and that's the constellation Orion in the middle of the sky you can see the belt of Orion and even the uh, yeah the M42 which is a uh, sword of the Orion and I'm using the me the ETX90 on the polar aligned telescope uh, tabletop mount using the Regal Quick Finder and 20 millimeter Orion expense. The image quality is superb, superb, sharp. It's apochromatic. <laughs> This is up a comment. I'm holding the camera by hand. And as far as I can see, the clock drive of the telescope is actually keeping the uh, moon in the field of view. Part of the vibrations you see is because of the table and uh, part of it is my hand. It's a picnic table. And visually even the image is sharper than this even. moon has not moved from the field of view that clock drive is working Hallelujah, it's really good. One of our viewers have asked if the, I see any blackouts when I'm using the Morpheus. This is a 14 millimeter Morpheus and I don't see any blackout with this. He, he, he had the blackout with the 9 millimeter eyepiece. I don't have the 9 millimeter, I have 14 and I have 6.5. I will do test with both of them. My hand is moving and uh, also the table is wobbling. And I'm using 6.5 mm Morpheus also, no blackout. Although this uh, magnification with this maxit of 13.4 uh, I think it is, is quite high magnification. Um, and I'm not enjoying this uh, magnification this this much. So and this is a field of view. Uh, vibration is my hand and the table bubbling. And this is the Skywatcher Nirvana 16 mm 82 degrees field of view eyepiece. Again, the vibration and shaking is because of the table and my hand. And this is Teleview Panoptic, 24 mm, 68 degrees. It's the widest field of view when using a one and a quarter inch teles uh, eyepiece. As you can see, this is the widest field of view. Amazing clarity. The clouds are coming. And the clock 
drive is actually working, keeping the moon in the field of view. Amazing, it's nice to have the mm, target to staying in the field of view. You can see suddenly, clock drive suddenly moves it in a tick. So it brings it back to the field of view. That shows my polar al alignment, roughly. Is actually adequate. This is a Celestron Elux, twenty-five millimeter, uh, super post like this, and the image quality is really good. I will show you now the image. Celestrian Elux 25 mm Apex. Possible. Tapped for the focus, and now you see the brightness is adjusted. And this is the mid 40 millimeter mm, plus hole, amazing IPS, very uh, low magnification, perfect for this telescope. Let's just see how the image looks through this one. So you hear sometimes a tap 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 sound. I'm taking photographs. Also the sound of as if plastic is uh, or rubber is being stretched or pressed. That's uh, the rubber guard of this uh, iPhone. The, uh, sorry, of this telephone, mobile camera. So all in all, I think that I have a nice experience with this now. I've tested it with different eyepieces and the telescope was able to keep the item in the field of view. I'm a little bit disappointed with the Regal. Uh, it's very difficult to actually get at see the, um, um, anything, you know, you don't see even the red dot. So I prefer probably a normal uh, finder scope. Hallelujah! I was able to get an image with the Regal Quick Finder. You can see the three uh, stars of the belt of Orion, and I'm going. And then the target is now clearly. You can see is M42. Oh, I'm so delighted! I think the first time I couldn't see it. Probably it was not on, or it was very dimmer. I should have turned the knob completely. So lovely, nice view. Okay, for these pictures, uh, I had to hold the camera against the eyepiece. I was very tired. I didn't do a really good job on this, but that's the result so far.
Hallelujah. I can see the trapezium, four members of it, or at least three members of it, with a 40 millimeter. <laughs> like this, meet 40 millimeter of this one. Amazing. Yeah, any eyepiece I put here, now I have the teleview, will give me the sharpest images I've ever seen. Maxitoves are the best telescopes. Value for money. You don't need the Takahashi, this is the Takahashi. Better. <laughs>